Welcome to the second Costa Rica vlog where we're staying in a magical rainforest lodge. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Rose. My pronouns are she, her. I am a plant lover from the Netherlands, currently in Costa Rica, traveling around, as you can maybe see by the pelicans flying by. <laughs> Random interruption. Um, yeah all the jungly plants. In this vlog, we're moving from a tiny surf spot where we've been staying for a week to travel along the coast. And the first stop is here where I am now and it is incredible. If you haven't seen part one, you can check it out here. Super excited to share this with you. We left off in our little tiny surf town, very remote in the Southeast of Costa Rica, where we did actually an amazing jungle tour with a guide called Mario at Tisquita Lodge. That will be a separate video that I still have to make. But during that tour, we actually got, I actually especially got so hot. It was so hot and humid that my whole shirt was soaked. So they kindly offered for us to cool down in their private waterfall pools. The hike over there was beautiful. There were lots of leaf cutter ants on the path. So we had to tread really carefully. It was really fun. Oh, I'd rather stay here. very steep but here we should be able to cool down a little bit well so pretty bikini on let's go in it was so beautiful and so refreshing as well because i think what you don't realize watching these videos is how warm the seawater is it's like stepping into a hot bath compared to waterfalls and rivers that are actually a little bit colder. We had so much fun swimming in the different ones, exploring them, sliding down them. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. And look. Hi. It was a really amazing part of our trip. Along the side of the steps down to the waterfall, a lot of margravias and also ferns and then some kind of type of, I don't know, philodendron monstera. Also, it just started raining, so boyfriend is saying we should go. It's raining, it's raining in the jungle. tried to find a lunch place but like I said already it's a very very remote village only people who really love surfing go there <laughs> we found the only restaurant here in a very small village and I also spotted a bunch of actual plants that I have as house plants there's anthuriums like it looks like crystallinum maybe regal huge bird's nest anthurium like as tall as me there is a beautiful begonia. I saw a variegated alocasia. Plant people are here, but I can't communicate with them because I do not speak Spanish. Our food arrived. I tried to look up on Google Translate. Me gusta las plantas is what I, what I remember from that. Then my boyfriend went for a surf. The waves were actually really big, so I didn't feel comfortable going in, but I was very happy to film him. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, baby. 
because I was basically standing on a palm tree underneath palm trees, looking over this beautiful tropical looking beach. There were literally swarms of what, how do you call it? Like whole, a lot of pelicans flying together, like right above, soaring right above the waves. Like they were also about to go surf. But since it was our last day in this surfy village, of course, I also wanted to go for a surf. Hi, Chicky! Hi, Chicky! Hi. Now, I do have some footage of me paddling and I think catching one wave, maybe. We don't have as much good footage of me surfing, also, I admit, because I'm not that good, <laughs> he catches many more waves than me. After this surf session, we went to get a smoothie together at the local cafe. There's literally like one cafe. The owners were lovely. The other people there were lovely. So we said our goodbyes to them. Goodbye, cafe de la suerte. Goodbye, surf shop. Goodbye, everyone. Nice people everywhere tried to cool down in the river actually, but there was a lot of debris and it was really shallow. So that cool down did not work out very well. And then we drove to find another spot that we had heard about that may have good waves. Since the day before we had had a lot of rain, which I show in the previous video, the roads were, they were okay mostly, but this one bridge I wanted to show you because it's, I even moved some of the logs Basically, it was like a hole in the road and there were logs filling it, but they had moved and it didn't look like anything that a car could drive over. But after I had moved some of the logs, you could drive over it, kind of. <laughs> Very adventurous to try and find this surf spot. In the end, it wasn't surfable. So we drove back to the Airbnb. And of course, on the road, I saw a lot of cool plants. In the car, I'm always spotting cool plants asking my boyfriend to stop in many places to take some pictures. Aeroids everywhere. Oh, oh whoa. Looks like that philodendron type again, Crawl, crawling all up into the tree, super high. Amazing. And huge ones like this. This looks like a some type of colocasia, alocasia. And here, more monsteras. I have a lot of old injuries, but I can run. I'm proving it because there's plants. This time I remembered that at this bridge, there was a plant that I could actually photograph well. So my boyfriend is waving again in the back. I'm walking over. Because the plants are so happy, they grow up the trees and then basically at the bottom, same with a moss pole, you just see the bareness of the stem and at the top it's the beautiful part but the trees are super high so we never get to see it but here there are some growing down <clears throat> below the bridge but the beautiful parts are visible to us here you go this is a river here you can see some kind of i don't know monstera type lots of holes in it Actually, it's not as impressive as I thought, but you can see them there as well. They're everywhere, but they're not perfect leaves, so it's less. Something ate it. Can you see? The next morning was time to start driving. Last time, me getting out the car to open the gate, which was my job. Last time driving over the Pavones Bridge and the bad roads. Uh... Hey, baby horse. Can you see him? Yes. Baby horse. Crazy boats. Vultures. vultures, yes. Oh, there's a lot of them. Wow. Wow. The whole field is full of vultures. Vultures. We have left Pavones after a week in our Airbnb and we're now on a very bumpy road break to look at this view 
Wow. But it's hot, so getting back into the air conditioning quickly. And just like that, we arrived on very nice asphalt with huge palm trees on each side. Palm plant plantations? I don't know. Oh! Oh! Driving to Bosque del Cabo, a beautiful rainforest lodge in the Corcovado National Park. I wonder what the gates are for, if they are for animals because all the houses have huge gates. Quick stop to look at the palm trees and look at all the beautiful Adansonis or whatever they are, Monsteras. We made it to an actual highway! How does it feel? Pura vida! <laughs> also, I don't know if I showed you already, but I am peeling! It's so pretty! We're gonna ditch our car for a few days while we go to Bosque del Cabo, which is a super nice eco-retreat up in the mountains. And we do not have a four-wheel drive car. And it will be nice for Geert who looks very sad right now, <laughs> to also have a look around while we're driving. It's a Peninsula National Park. It's the most diverse part of Costa Rica. So we're really excited to see that. We are now in the 4x4. Frank, the driver, is driving up us up the hill to a fancy hotel. Let's go see. In the Rio Grande. <laughs> <laughs> Very steep, slippery roads. Whoa. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome to Bosque del Cabo. Oh, nice. I thought I see some nice plants. was clearly very experienced at driving here. He was amazing. So thank you, Frank. It was a really fun start of our trip. We just checked in at Bosque del Cabo, which is an amazing resort. It's focused on sustainability and nature. It's like a jungle resort, basically. They are fully solar powered and they're in a beautiful spot. As you can see, they have huge gardens. And I want to show you our little house for two nights. It's not little, I'll admit. We are doing this as a trade for me mentioning it. We get to stay here for free because this is definitely outside our budget. You will see. Let me just show you. <laughs> we are staying in Casablanca, which we will enter now. Here we are. Here is our kitchen. Here is our living room excuse all the bags the driver actually dropped them off here for us super nice and then out here is our deck with a view of the ocean one of the reasons why i really love this place is that all the reviews say you don't even have to go on a jungle tour you can just sit in your own house or in the reception area and just let nature come to you We've already seen a bunch of cool birds like pelicans and um, what are the uh, vultures. vultures. <laughs> we already spotted a wild animal trying to steal our food. There he is. Wandering around like it's nothing. Hello, buddy. 
These are called coatis and you'll see a lot more of them. And let's go check out our bedroom. Here we go. Look at it. This is our bed. Beautiful, fresh flower, hibiscus flower here and the towels. And then if we go around here, this is the coolest part. This is our bathroom. Little flowery flowers. Hello. I'm a little bit sweaty and gross from the trip, but we made it. And now I can get clean in an outside bath. My boyfriend is calling. Uh-oh, we have a beggar. Uh-oh. We're not feeding you. Get your own food. But we love seeing you. You're beautiful. Yeah, but that's filled the... Uh... Yeah, he's totally not scared. This is... This is my tank water. Okay, small interruption for a crazy animal. Back to the bathroom. On this side, a toilet. And then here, an outdoor shower. And the bath, like I said, with a view of the palm trees. So when you sit in the bath... Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna get in for it. When you sit in the bath, you get to look at the sky and the palm trees. Perfect. Everything seems to be very beautiful and filled with nature, plants and animals. And it's raining, but we don't mind because it's really warm. Whoa, there is a monkey in the tree. I see a monkey. This is my first monkey. Ah, I think I'm too late with filming, but he's in those trees. Look at these little pigs. And a monkey. Hey, piggies! They're so cute! Hi! We're vegetarians, no worries. There is a big monkey in this palm tree. Let's see if we can spot it. Let's see him. Hello. The first real Monstera Deliciosa that I found and it's not just any look at this new leaf and then look at this hold on I have to step back Whoa! bam <laughs> we're going into the pool for the first time this is a adult only pool there's not many people here anyway jeez that looks not so nice and we have monkeys up top in the trees and then just us in the pool. Let's go! After our refreshing dip in the pool, we went for a walk around the gardens. How do you like my new recording space, by the way? It is a heat wave in Holland, so I am outside in bikini, but I put some plants here to make it feel like my normal videos. I was just trying to show you the beautiful sunset and view, but then my eye landed on a huge spider. I wonder if you can see it from here. Yes, a trigger warning spider. That's a pretty big spider, mate. Let's keep all the doors closed, yeah? It was a tarantula on our house. That did not make me sleep very well the first night, <laughs> but it is very cool. It just sat there, it didn't do anything. Anyway, 
Look at the beautiful sky. We got dressed up a little bit and we're gonna go to dinner here, which is feels quite fancy. And we managed to take some very, very cute pictures together. The next morning, palm tree lovers unite. This morning, we are going horseback riding. I haven't ridden a horse in a long time. And Gerrit has never. We're walking to reception to get to the horseback riding, but I wanted to show you this as well because it's stunning. Whew, and it's hot. Look at these palm trees. here to horseback ride but the plants are also incredible check this out another one of those big ones with the roughly back and it's growing all up the palm tree they use she just explained they use coconuts as um, pots here hollowed out coconut shells here's another philodendron and then over on this side there's philodendron borough marks anthuriums begonias oh alocasias Aglionema, here's a caladiums. Caladias, they have everything. Beautiful big begonia. And the most beautiful one is this anthurium. I don't know, I think it's a magnificum. Because look, the backs are square, like actually square. It's two plants in the pot and the leaves are huge. Wow. We're meeting the horses. Hola. There we go. First time on a horse. We are on a horse. Look at the beautiful horsey. My boyfriend's horse was very, very slow, which was kind of funny. baby coconuts growing. He says it takes about 20 years for them to grow up to be bigger and they're actually like solid rooted into the sand. In the meantime we are walking across like along the river with a little dog looking at all the animals and the plants and cooling down a little bit because it is hot. Oh. Oh, can you see it? There's a baby crocodile there. Right there. Maybe from... There it is! It's just floating around. Let's just... Of 
feet are getting wet. Thank you, horses. Thank you, thank you. Here's horse, my horse. Goodbye. Wait, there's a bug on you. Look, right next to us in the tree. <sighs> then we drove back to the hotel. Ah, oh, first time riding a horse in many years and the first time ever for Geert. How do you feel? Like un abaco. What is un abaco? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. I enjoyed it a lot, but it was also a little bit scary. My anxiety was playing up because his horse slipped in the beginning in the mud. I used to ride every week. You learn how to ride, like be relaxed and sit on the horse. So now when I get on, I can feel how tense I am. And so the riding of the horse teaches me like, hey, hello, let's relax for a little bit. So it is both relaxing and um, creating some anxiety. So it was an interesting experience, but I highly enjoyed it. And now we're chilling and cooling down with some water. Cheers. One of the other guests just showed us this tree that is flowering and it's not flowering in a regular way for most plants. So if you look here, you can see it's just flowering from the stems and they're up there as well. And there's a bud on that one. It's really random. I have no idea what it is but I'm sure someone will be able to tell us. It's beautiful too. Poofs, little poofy poofs. Human for scale. Whoa, Geert wants one in our garden. I don't know how realistic that is, but the leaves are so big. It's very cool. Here's a big vulture just chilling. Hello. Hello, buddy. Did you come to check if we left any food out for you? Time for our first meal at the restaurant. Since this place is so remote, it was the only place to eat if you don't have a car. Lunch at Bosque del Cabo Vegetarian Burritos with Rice and Beans. Meal times are an option to get to know the other guests as well. And the hotel actually encourages this. If you're open to it, they actually made a huge table for us one night where everyone sat together, which was really, really fun. And that's also how we got our anteater invite. We were chatting over lunch and one of the people invited us over to his cabin to see an anteater that was sleeping in a palm tree. We just saw an anteater in a tree, in a coconut tree. It was very cool, right? Yep. It was so different. I thought they were all black, but this one was white with black spots. I could not get good footage of it because it's in like behind someone's cabin. I took some footage, but it was very, very cool to see. It's literally like you're living in the, you're on a jungle tour, but you're having lunch at the same time. Walking back from lunch to go surfing and look what we spot here. Look at the little piggies. They're called picaris. There's some kind of wild, Boar thingies. What are you doing, buddy? Some mangoes. Eating mangoes? <sighs> They're all eating mangoes. We got another ride from someone who worked there to the local surf spot called Golfo Dulce, I think, which means the Bay of Sweet Bread, from what I understand. <laughs> Geert, my boyfriend, was sitting in the back to make sure that the surfboard didn't fall off. We just got to the surf spot, but there is not much to surf. Geert is a bit confused. We went in anyway. I didn't catch many waves, but of course my boyfriend did. He is such a better surfer than me and that's okay. This time, 
Are you sitting at the back of the truck? <laughs> I like it already. Woohoo! <laughs> Jungle! Howler monkeys in the trees. You can't see because it's light up, up. There they are. One of the other animals they have here is this guy. It's kind of like a wombat, but smaller, like a rodent. I think this is a begonia growing up this palm tree. Look at that. Here's a cool bird. She has a beard. She has a mocktail. Chilling at the bar. Beautiful vegetarian food. Beautiful virgin pina colada. Beautiful rain. Rain is actually perfect for spotting frogs. So after dinner, we took a little detour on the way home, walking by their pond, where we found some very fun looking frogs, some very fat ones, but also some very, very small ones, very bright colors. So that was very exciting, even though we didn't stay very long because it was so, so wet. Good morning, our last morning here in Bosque del Cabo. We are going to try and make the most of this morning. Waking up, I just looked at the waves behind me and the ocean is so turquoise. Can you see how blue that is compared to some other days? Wow. And we're going to go down there today. Not straight down here because that's only possible with a drone. But we're going to go take a hike that way, which is 600 steps apparently, down to the beach and tide pools. First, some yoga. Since it's our last day, we decided to also check out the breakfast, which we haven't done here yet. And I wanted to show you my peeling arms because the guy at the horse riding called me an iguana because I'm peeling so bad. Trigger warning, there is a snake in the next few bits. We just got to breakfast and spotted the big lens. There is a boa constrictor in this palm tree. Check this out. I'll try and get his face for you. Here, can you see his face? Wow, snake warning. Beautiful. Wow. But how is this comfortable? Do you see all the spikes on this plant? I can't believe this snake got in there and got out there safely. That can't be comfortable. The snake moved. He's climbing down, so I'm gonna walk around to show you, hopefully. Look at him. Wow. Look at this, this is my hand. I don't know why I got this close. I think it must be my ADHD enthusiasm overriding my general sense of survival because that was actually pretty dumb and I think dangerous. There is his face. Hello. Wow. Look at him. When his little tail. I was even holding like a little leaf on the side to film the last few bits so that you can see his face correctly. Like I was this close to his face with my hand. Why? Why? I found a... <laughs> what did you call it? Tiger heron. Tiger heron on the roof, sitting in a very weird position. We're gonna check out the Pacific Trail. My cap is super weird. So hiking gear, hiking mode activated. Let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hey, buddy. Ooh, Ooh zigzag. Ooh, steep. I found a little flower on the floor bed, forest bed, and it smells like jasmine. It also looks a little bit like jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> I spotted
spotted a little frog. It's very small and it's red and black. There he is. Look. All my terrarium people tell me what kind of frog this is. This is actually an endemic species of frogs. I think I'm saying that right. It's local only to this area of Costa Rica and it's called Golfo Dulce poison dart frog or in Latin Philobatis vitatus. It's adorable, it's tiny. We're starting to see some aeroids again here, climbing up, only the small leaves still, but I'm sure there are bigger ones up higher on the trees. Here as well, maybe one, another one up there. Whew, we almost made it down. The beach is beautiful and there's some nice waves coming in as well. Kurt is regretting not bringing his surfboard down. Kind of. Always a sign that you're getting close to the beach. Little hermit crabs. Hello, buddy. Nothing to be scared of. Little stream. Some beautiful plants here. And then a little waterway. Stunning moss. Look at this. Whoa, we made it! Switch back. This is Witzer. I sweat. Oh, big set. <laughs> We're trying to find a deeper tide pool. By the way, this is a private beach from this place. So it's really nice. You can just leave your stuff and not worry. There's a huge group of pelicans. flying right over me. Their formations are amazing. Formidable. Ga je erin? Nee. Waarom niet? Het zijn allemaal krabberotten. Krabberotten? Uh. Where are the good titles? walk back to where we left our shoes because to get to the tide pools you actually have to cross these boulders which are a lot more painful on the feet barnacles everywhere but apparently it's behind there and it's worth it so we're going oh much better now we can actually walk without squealing starting to look good but the best ones are a little bit further out or so we've heard This one has a lot of fish. This one looks nice, but then also not so nice. <laughs> so many sea urchins. The crabs are going crazy for us. We actually did not manage to find the actual tide pools. We even met one of the people there on the beach and he's like, it's very easy. It's just around the corner here. He pointed us in the right direction and we were still not able to find them. So that was a little bit frustrating. <laughs> Unfortunately, the drone SD card was full, so we didn't film much at the beach. 
now we're kind of rushing our way back because we're going for lunch and then right after lunch we're leaving so we have to get our bags and get back in time for lunch with these steps <sighs> we only just started and i'm already my breath oh this poor teacher here is of course having no trouble at all dart frog oh, he's so beautiful hey where'd you go where did you go come back oh, we made it back up I think for here this was fine but for me <sighs> <laughs> Luckily there's benches along the way where you can take a break. Oh. We're ending our stay here with a beautiful lunch with everyone. Here to have the hummus salad sandwich, right? <laughs> and I have the vegetarian burrito with beans and rice. We met such a lovely couple, Elle and Tracy, that were staying there as well. We had a lot of chats with them over dinner and at the bar, and I asked them to take a picture together with us because I wanted to remember them and put them in our photo album. Kevin is here to take us to Jimenez. So we're getting the bags. Goodbye, Bosque. Goodbye, beautiful jungle. We had an amazing time here. One thing I definitely realized is that two nights is too short to stay here because there is so much to do, so many trails, so much jungle to discover, so many animals to see, but we made the best of it. I found out after leaving that we actually missed a lot of what they have to offer, even just on their grounds. We didn't see their waterfall, the hanging bridge, their tropical gardens. And a few weeks ago, actually, there was a puma wandering their grounds. So a lot of guests got to see an actual puma on their hikes. Apparently it wasn't dangerous, or at least it didn't attack anyone. Everyone was safe, but it's kind of cool and kind of super scary as well. <laughs> I don't know. So we definitely have to go back. It was an incredible stay. Thank you so much to Kate and the people of Bosque del Cabo for making us feel so welcome. I'm happy to say that it was the best part of our trip to Costa Rica. So thank you so much. Although of course the surfing was also incredible. So good? Goodbye house. Thank you so much for having us stay. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next part of this Costa Rica adventure. Where we travel north to Monteverde, the cloud forest of Costa Rica. So I'm really excited to show you that as well. And I hope you're enjoying it because I'm enjoying it a lot. If you want to keep hanging out, I have some beautiful drone footage that I wanted to add in at the end here. If not, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again. Bye friends. Welcome to our crib.
selected a few more videos for you to watch if you want to watch more planty content. But that's it for now. Okay, bye friends. Thanks friends, bye.